John decided to make a vegetable salad for his friends. To prepare for it, he will need three peppers and the same number of tomatoes. And he needs fewer cucumbers than tomatoes, but more than radishes. How many different vegetables will John use in the salad? Nine point three peppers, three tomatoes, two cucumbers, and one radish. A professor went to have his lunch break, leaving three students in the lecture hall. When he returned, he realized that an answer sheet for an important exam had disappeared from his desk. He questioned the students. Kyle said, "Ten minutes after you'd left, my mom called me and asked me to meet with her near the college building. When I returned, the sheet was already gone." Brian said. No one called Kyle. He took something from your desk and left. And Ryan said, "Brian is telling the truth. When we realized that it was an answer sheet, we ran after him outside, but he had already left. Who should the professor believe?" Ryan and Brian are lying. They said they had run after Kyle outside, but it was raining, and they're both dry. Which of these artists is suspicious? The girl on the right has been using orange paint, not red. Then why do her clothes have red stains? Who is suspicious at this party? The second girl marked this glass. To know which of them contained poison, which of these students is suspicious? Student three only pretends to be writing; he's actually reading a magazine. Which of these women is suspicious? The woman on the right is only pretending to be pregnant. A prince married a simple girl and brought her to the palace. His mother, the queen, didn't like it at all. She started watching the girl and discovered that she secretly took some jewelry out of the palace and hid it in the ground under an oak tree. The queen immediately went to the prince and told him about it. The prince checked under the oak tree and actually found the jewels. His wife started begging him, "My prince, I swear, I didn't steal it for myself. I'm leaving the jewelry here so that my family can pick it up later." But the queen said, "She is lying to you. She hides the jewelry here because she wants to sell it when she runs away from the palace." Who's lying? The girl's lying. No one forbids her to visit her family or give them whatever they need openly. She hides it because she'll need the money after running away. John had a lunch break, so he went to the butcher to buy some meat. He asked the butcher to cut the meat in a specific way. The butcher asked if John was a firefighter. John said yes. How did the butcher guess John's profession? John was still wearing his uniform when he went on his lunch break. Mary went to the forest to pick some berries and mushrooms. Some time later, the girl realized she had gotten lost. Suddenly, she heard the trees crackling behind her back. There was a monster approaching. Mary ran as fast as she could and managed to get away from the monster. She saw a small house and went inside. An elderly lady lived in the house. She said she would help Mary, but Mary immediately realized that this lady was a shapeshifter. She was the monster in the forest. How did Mary know that? Have you noticed that the elderly woman has the same symbol on her hand as the monster had? Luckily, it turned out that the woman was not actually evil. She helped Mary to get out of the forest. The elderly lady from the forest has three cats: Snowball, Bella, and Lisa. They usually sleep on three different pillows: yellow, pink, and blue. Bella likes sleeping on the pink pillow. Snowball never chooses either pink or blue. Think about it and try to guess which pillow each of the cats sleeps on.
Bella sleeps on the pink pillow, Snowball lies on the yellow one, and Lisa sleeps on the blue one. Someone robbed a bank last night. Its manager doesn't want the clients to know about it, so he hasn't told any details to the press yet. The police have found three suspects. All of them have been previously accused of similar robberies. The police officer asked, What were you doing when the robbery happened? Stacy claimed she'd gone to bed at 11 p.m. Dan said, I was bowling with my friends between 1 and 2 a.m. Ryan said he had spent the whole night in a hospital with his granny. Who robbed the bank? It was Dan. The police officer didn't mention when exactly the robbery had happened. Then how did he know it? Kelly was walking alone in the forest. She found a picturesque spot and began to record a dance for her TikTok. But suddenly, she fell into a cave. Kelly looked around and noticed four doors. There were hungry lions behind the first door. Venomous insects were hiding behind the second door. Behind the third door, there was a tunnel that was on fire. And there were live wires behind the fourth door. Which way is safe? The fourth door is the safest. There's enough space for Kelly to crawl under the wires. Can you find a panda among these people? It's over there! Miss Green recently got the job of a college teacher. She decided to start her first class with a small test. The woman watched her students during the test very attentively and noticed that three of them were cheating. Who? Look at this guy's knee. And this young lady is holding a book under her desk. And this young man over here has a bottle with the answers written on it. Can you find the odd emoji? Something is wrong with this guy's teeth. Harry woke up in a creepy abandoned hospital. He searched the area and only found an old cart. He went further and saw four doors, but there were dangers lurking behind each of these doors. Angry werewolves were waiting behind the first one. The floor behind the second door was all covered with toxic acid. There was a wicked witch behind the third door, and there was a fire blazing behind the fourth door. What should Harry do? Harry should choose the second door and use the cart to get to safety. Can you find the odd fish? Here it is! Gemma decided to follow her dreams and moved to a cute house in a small village. She found several boxes in the basement and organized a garage sale to sell that stuff. Gemma put up an ad, everything for one dollar. Leah bought an old chess set, Peter purchased a mirror, and Daniel bought an old jewelry box. When they left, Gemma's neighbor came over and told her that she'd made a mistake. She had just sold a very expensive thing for a song. What item did she mean? Not the chess set because it's made of plastic, and not the mirror because it's cracked. She meant the jewelry box. Look at how Daniel is carrying it. The thing's heavy and probably filled with expensive stuff. Can you find the odd emoji? Here it is. Peter and Wendy had a picnic in a beautiful park. Suddenly, it started raining and they hid in their car. That's when Wendy noticed she had left her phone outside. Peter returned to the picnic spot but found no phone. Luckily, the thief couldn't get far. So, Peter entered the nearest cafe to check the customers. He saw three people inside. The guy immediately figured out who had taken the phone. Can you guess who the thief is? It's the second guy. He's the only one with wet hair and clothes. On his birthday, Jason invited three friends on a hiking trip. They found a beautiful wild beach and decided to stay there for the night. In an hour, one of Jason's friends disappeared. They separated to search for him, and the other two friends also vanished. Can you guess what happened?
Jason's friends decided to prank him. They're waiting for him with a birthday cake on a boat. Mary had just returned from a two-day business trip. She's starving, so she rushes to the kitchen. She opens the fridge to get some snacks. Can you help Mary throw away spoiled food? This apple has gone bad. Some weird loud sounds woke Emily in the middle of the night. She ran to her roommate's bedrooms to check on them. Both Mia and Sam were sound asleep. In the morning, Emily found out that their house had been robbed. Mia said that she'd been sleeping and hadn't heard anything suspicious. Sam said that he had returned from a party very late and had fallen asleep immediately. Can you guess what happened? The robber entered the house through Sam's window and pretended to be Sam when Emily came to check on her roommate. And the real Sam returned from the party way later that night. The cafeteria was filled with people. The voice told Mike to find a thief among them. Can you help Mike get some bonuses for his attentiveness? This woman over there is the thief. She's hiding spoons in her pocket. After lunch, Mike headed for the next room, but before the guy got inside, he had to solve a riddle to open the door. Some will use me, others will not. Some remember me, others forget. I can't be picked up off the ground or tossed into the sea. You can only gain me with time. What am I? The correct answer is knowledge. Mike entered a beautiful party hall filled with people in costumes and masks. The voice told Mike to go find one ghost, one zombie, and one thief among these people. Look at this crowd very attentively. Can you see them? The guy over there doesn't seem to have legs, and he's levitating. He must be a ghost. Look at this woman's food. Only zombies would eat that. And the woman over there is the thief. Her diamond ring doesn't fit her finger. Also, the ring is very similar to this lady's jewelry set. Mike tried to open the next door and receive a new question immediately. I look flat, but I'm deep. Hidden realms I shelter. Lives I take, but food I offer. At times, I am beautiful. I can be calm, angry, and turbulent. I have no heart, but I offer pleasure and freedom. No man can own me, yet I encompass what all men must have. What am I? Mike solved this riddle and entered the next room. Have you figured out the answer too? The correct answer is, I'm the ocean. Mike saw the next door, but whatever he did, he couldn't open it. He spotted an electronic lock on the door and a map of a maze on the wall. The voice said that Mike must solve the riddle to open the door. Can you help? If you go through the maze from start to finish, you'll get 6251. This is the code. When Mike finally entered the room, he saw a locked safe. The voice said that Mike's task was to open the safe. What buttons should he press? The puzzles present three colors, pink, white, and brown. Mike pressed the correct buttons and unlocked the safe, but he only found one small coin inside. The next room was empty, except for an old vending machine in the corner. Mike came closer and noticed a small key inside the machine. Suddenly, the walls began to move. The room was getting smaller and smaller. The voice told Mike to be careful because the vending machine was broken. Some wires were torn and mixed up. Which button should Mike press to get the key out and get out of the room before it's too late? Mike should use the coin from the previous challenge and press the fourth button. Then the voice asked Mike to find the odd image in this pattern. Can you help the guy?
the couple over there is different. In another room, Mike met a nice elderly lady, Miss Jason. She was very upset because someone had broken into her apartment. Mike's task was to find the robber. He inspected the crime scene and questioned three witnesses. The cleaning lady, Sarah, said that she'd finished her work at 11 p.m. and left. Billy, a passerby, said that he'd seen a suspicious man in a mask in Miss Jason's window. Kelly, the neighbor, was visiting her boyfriend in another city. Who's lying? Billy, he's a passerby and just met Miss Jason. Then how come he knows which window is hers? It got very dark outside, but Mike's weird quest continued. He entered a jewelry store and its owner explained the guy his next task. Someone had broken into the store and taken the most expensive diamond jewelry. But luckily, the robber left their fingerprints on the shards of broken glass. There are three suspects, a werewolf, an elf, and a zombie. Can you help Mike find the real robber? It was the elf. He's the only creature among them with human-like fingerprints. Another door led Mike into a creepy lab. There, he saw a mad scientist playing a strange game with his patients. He asked them to choose between two pills. One of them was a harmless capsule with vitamins, while the other one was a sleeping pill. Somehow, the scientist managed to get the harmless pill every time he played this game, and his opponents always fell asleep. How was this possible? And what should Mike do to pass this test? Both pills were actually harmless. The scientist added a special substance to the glasses of water he offered his patients to wash down the pills. So, to stay awake, Mike should switch the glasses or simply refuse to drink any water. The next door was locked, but Mike saw six buttons with the images of a candle, fire, gloves, scissors, an apple, and a light bulb. The voice said, I was carried into a dark room and set on fire. I wept, and then my head was cut off. What am I? One minute later, Mike was already walking towards his next challenge. What button did he press to open the door? The button with the candle on it. Suddenly, the lights went out. Mike slipped and fell into a swimming pool. Someone turned the light on again and Mike saw three identical ladies in the pool. All three of them looked like ordinary women and claimed to be human. But in reality, two of them are mermaids. How can Mike find the real woman among them? He can dive and find the one without a tail. The mermaids told Mike that they wouldn't let him out of the pool until he solved another riddle. I'm so fast you can't see me, although everyone else can see straight through me. I'm with you until your last breath. What am I? Can you help Mike solve this riddle and escape? The correct answer is the blink of an eye. The mermaids let Mike go and he entered the next room. On a huge screen, there were two guys. The first one was taking a selfie with a tornado. The second one was standing under an umbrella in the middle of a thunderstorm and taking pictures. Mike had to decide whose behavior is riskier. The tornado is very close. Therefore, the first guy is in greater danger. At the same time, the second guy will have enough time for another couple of shots. After a long road trip, Lily finally arrived at her friend's wedding venue in another city. The food looked very appetizing and Lily was starving. So she headed for the table, but suddenly the lights went off and Lily fainted. She woke up the next day with a terrible headache. Just like all the other guests, none of them remembered anything about how the party ended. Look at these two pictures. They were taken before and after the lights went out. Can you guess what happened at the party? The balloons popped. Someone had filled them with sleeping gas. This person wanted everyone to fall asleep. 
It might have been done to help the bride run away because she's absent this morning. Jill is an art teacher. One morning, she entered her art studio and got very surprised. The entire wall and the students' drawings were stained with paint. Jill interviewed three suspects. The cleaning lady hadn't cleaned the class the day before because she'd had a day off. Jill's student Rosie said that she had left the studio at 6 p.m. At that time, everything was okay. Another student, Rick, confessed that he had brought his girlfriend to the studio to show off his paintings, but they left at 8 p.m. Who is responsible for this mess? The cat! It got into the studio through an open window. Take a look at this picture. Why did he tie his friend down? It's a full moon. His friend began turning into a werewolf and the guy got scared. Two guys are trying to get Hillary's attention by showing off their money. The first man sends her a selfie of him near a private jet and the second sends a photo of him wearing a pilot's uniform and flying a jumbo jet. Whose salary is higher? Pilots earn good money. So the second guy is definitely well off, and the first guy probably just works at the airport. Four artists gathered in a park to paint landscapes. Having finished his first drawing, Bill went to the bathroom. When Bill returned, he found out that his drawing was ruined. He was very upset and questioned his friends. Stephen didn't see what happened. He was away buying coffee for everyone. Dylan didn't look at the paintings. He was distracted by a conversation with a beautiful woman. Kelly said that she'd been painting her own portrait in another part of the park. Who's lying? Kelly, if she had been painting, why is her canvas blank? Stephen had a rough day at college, so he decided to relax and went to his favorite restaurant with other students. Sam, Jill, and Jules each ordered a cappuccino. Rebecca, Peter, and Helen each ordered an espresso. What drink did Stephen order? Cappuccino or espresso? Espresso. Stephen has two letter E's in his name, just like Rebecca, Peter, and Helen. Can you spot anything weird in this picture? This coconut doesn't look as fresh as the others. Henry was walking along the street. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of him. She opened a portal, grabbed Henry, and took him to her castle. Henry asked her to let him go, but the witch said, Now you will serve me forever. Henry had a notebook and a pen in his pocket. He offered the witch a deal. If I write your weight in this notebook, will you let me go? The witch was very intrigued and agreed. Henry wrote something down, and she had to let him go. What did he write? As promised, Henry wrote, your weight. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's sushi. How about this one? Hot chocolate. Let's take it up a notch. Can you guess the dish by these emojis? It's pizza. How about this? It's a cheeseburger. 